far yeah, back as deep. I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Yeah! What's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Zach. Going out for a nice little ride today. As you can tell, the weather is superb, isn't it? It's just amazing. No, but seriously though, the weather here, you can never get, it's so unpredictable. You know, it wasn't supposed to rain today. It wasn't supposed to be cloudy. It's gonna be upwards of 60 degrees today, possibly even 60 degrees today. So the temperatures are gonna be nice, but the weather is going to be like this, so unfortunately, that kind of sucks, but whatever, it's all good. Um, if my voice sounds like my nose is like this, because my goggles actually moved down on me just a second ago, and uh, they're squishing it into my nose, so no reason to pull over and try to adjust them now, but we might get rained on a little bit, we might not. We're going to hit a little bit of trails today. Hit a little bit of road day, probably mostly just trails. So I'm expecting to get muddy. Um, I did not make the stupid mistake of not wearing my freeze out gear. So even though it's warm and it's not going to be cold, but it is damp, dank, you know, wet, all that good stuff. So I figured I'd wear my freeze out top. I brought the balaclava with me and I'm wearing the pants and I'm wearing some nice thermal socks. So might get a little hot and sweaty on the trails, but I'd rather be hot and sweaty. Got plenty of water with me, got my camel pack. I'd rather be hot and sweaty than to be freezing cold. So, feeling much better today though. I was sick, I've been fighting this cold for the past few weeks, and I'm finally feeling better today. So, also, I've got my chin mount set up, set up. We'll see if this works better than the top mount. I always chin mount on all my other helmets, but I didn't want to take the time when I first bought this helmet to come up with a, a proper mounting system for the chin mount on this. I had everything I already needed. I didn't need to buy anything additional. I just didn't feel like taking the time, so I just threw it on the top and that was it. And it was actually harder having it on the top because I had to duct tape the wiring. I don't think I made a video of that, and I've already removed it, so I wouldn't be able to show you guys that. It looked good, it was clean. White helmet, white duct tape, so it looked really good, but it was just a pain because going underneath branches, it would snag on the GoPro, you know, and things of that nature. You don't typically get smacked directly in the front of your face with a branch. You usually bob and weave and duck out of the way. You can duck all you want with it being on the top, though, but you got a GoPro sticking up three inches it's gonna snag on something so but enough rambling on man let's uh let's get to it we're gonna go grab something to eat real fast at firehouse subs amazing subs stay tuned guys guys as you can see it actually rained on us a little bit here a minute ago crazy well that was a bust i could still go back in there but you know I don't want to push my luck with somebody standing there. But none of that was there. Last time I rode that, none of that was there. Not at all. So, crazy. Come on, buddy. You can go a little bit faster than that. Let's go two miles an hour. I don't want to go no two miles an hour. So, hopefully the rain holds out on us. You know? We'll see if the rain holds out. Hopefully it does. But we'll see. All right, so as you guys can see, man, it's pretty muddy back here. Pretty muddy. But we'll see how it goes. We're just gonna take it easy. Go nice and slow. Get out of all the super gnarly mud pit sections.
Whew. That is some slick shit. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Stay in that rut, guy. Beautiful. Feels good knowing I can use my rear brakes again. Definitely a nice feeling. Definitely don't want to ride into that. That's fairly muddy there. So me saying that was the only mud section I was lying to a brother. You good? Yeah, that's a fairly fresh tire for sure. Definitely a fairly fresh tire. Nice. See, you just gotta learn clutch control and all that on your bike. Yeah, we're gonna take these sections. It's fairly easy. Super, super muddy. Just bomb it like that. And you're usually good. We're just gonna bomb it. I'm just gonna bomb it. Stay on the outside. My hands aren't cold, but I will say these heated grips are so amazing. I'll turn them on. That was actually a pretty deep puddle. Not gonna lie. Actually, feel some raindrops. A little third gear action. It's weird because that that berm had a rock right in the center of it. Really, really weird. Just gonna have to bomb it. Whoa! Watch that rut right there, or that. Yeah, watch watch that root because that's what threw me off. I would hit, yeah, or I would I would hit straight, yeah, like Terry said, straight through here on the outside. Only thing that saved me there was getting on the throttle. It's the only thing that saved me there was getting on the throttle. We're definitely near the main road. To be safe with my eyes, we're going to lower this visor down because there's a lot of branches here and we don't want to smack our eyeballs with anything. That's actually the spot that I threw my chain on, guys, because those ruts are so deep and I hit one of them, not realizing how deep they were, and it went from being... Um, riding nice and straight and smooth I stayed in the rut but I didn't realize how deep it was so when I actually hit the rut I actually I left my visor up that's all good though I might have to drop it down I don't like riding with my visor up there's a lot of branches like this all it takes us for one of these to hit you right in the eyeball there goes the wheelie man. 
pulling up some dank ass wheelies back here in muddy terrain. He gets it though. I guess we're hitting it. We're hitting it. <laughs> it's actually raining back here. And unfortunately, this time of year, guys, with the trees open like they are with no leaves, you don't get any, you don't get any, any shelter from the rain. Hey, that's lower this time. It's raining back here. You know what's going to suck? Is this section up here is going to be this rut is going to be filled up here. The red section that you got to cross up here, right here. Um, yeah, that ain't happening. That sucks, dude. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to drag this puppy. Hey, if you want me to back this up, I'm trying to keep my wheel straight. That's crazy though, man. See, that's what you gotta watch out for at nighttime back here in the dark. Following the trail, go straight by accident, boom. That's like a five foot drop at the deepest part. Slick, look. Hey, look. Hey, that's a beautiful thing, man. We all went down. Look how slick that is. Oh, I'm almost doing a split here, guys. Got my foot on this one and this one. If it wasn't for the grippy top on this, I probably would have actually went over. But I'll tell you what, dude, that is deep. That is deep. Got a little bit of water in my shoe. Nothing crazy, though. Here you want to just stay in that rut because that is slick this is going sideways the whole time so am i though holy shit i have to just keep on the throttle here have to just keep on the throttle there man yeah, pretty much. let me move out of his way fuck yeah <laughs> we'll meet up right here Man, that fog is really cool, dude. Not gonna wanna hit that log sideways right now because it's gonna be slick.
any other time we hit that during the dry weather stay on the left hand side that's no problem watch your head here look at that second gear I don't remember where this is gonna kick us out at. This is actually that log that I hit that one time. That's that log that I hit that one day. gonna stand up a little bit here guys a little bit of extra traction whole rear end just went completely sideways on me there hit your level Get your old lever. <sighs> you know what's funny, guys? As I kind of forgot that my GoPro wasn't on my helmet, top of my helmet anymore, so I'm still bobbing and weaving. He wasn't kidding. Look at that fog, guys. Hey! She is flowing really good today. Well, oh, look at them deer. Getting it back here. Getting it. Man, it's a hell of a good ride today. Hell of a good ride. Probably one of the best so far, and, and the weather's not even that great. I mean, look at it. My visor's fogging. I'm not even wearing a visor, but it's beautiful out here. The mist and the fog on everything is just awesome. She's getting a little dirty. That's how we like it. Like the stickers my daughter put on there. She's three years old and she wanted to redo my bike. <laughs> three year old. Stickers on my bike. That's alright though. We're going to go this way a little bit. And as you guys can see, it's actually raining pretty good right now. Not terribly, but it's raining enough. But not terribly though. Still nice. Just hope that I might have to rip my GoPro off. I don't know if I trust having my GoPro with the side microphone on. I might have to take the microphone out. We're gonna hit right here, guys. 
why not? Don't want to just fall off on that side there. Whew. Bomb that first gear. <laughs> Hell yeah. I was in second gear, it was too low. I don't know if we're going with the rain here, guys, or against the rain. Not really sure. But. Yeah, that's too deep. Yeah! Spinning. Alright, so what I just did, guys, hopefully you can still hear me. Ooh, that's a slick hill climb. Um, we're not using the external mic anymore because I don't trust this rain with having that door open. And I never took any precautions to seal where the mic goes in. So, um, hell of a ride today though. Hopefully they're having just as good as a time as I am. I mean, the weather sucks. It really does. But I'm having a hell of a time. It's going to be muddy at the base of this. We're just going to have to bomb it. I hope he saw that. Because, man, that was, that was... I just well, I just let the bike do what it wanted to do. There. Oh, and I don't think he's got footage on the rear of my bike. I think we ran out of battery life back there. So I don't think we have a camera on the back of my bike now. That was bomb though.